Dear colleagues, good evening. First of all, I would like to extend my heart with thanks to the organizers for having been invited with our updated data report. Before starting my presentation, showing our results, Before speaking about prevalence of recombinant viruses, I would like to dwell on HIV recombination uh, to have a better idea as to how powerful this mechanism is, uh, and it enables us to resolve many problems of viral infection and to uh, just study the evolution of viruses. It's known that the viral particle contains two RNA molecules and a DNA copies synthesis. There is a reverse transcription of the virus, which starts uh, uh, just uh, inside uh, throughout the course of uh, transfers transcription reverters can make skips from one matrix from one RNA molecule to another and such transitions uh, could be without a shift on nuclei uh, sequence or this uh, leap may be done with a shift as the result that could give rise to the molecules of DNA copies with deletions or extra inserts and having at our disposal such a mechanism uh, 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 the virus can make chimeric copies when in one villain a different RNA are packaged, RNA who belong to different genetic variants, or one copy of RNA uh, might contain a defect. Uh, in that case, uh, recombination uh, could remove this artifact, uh, making a chimera uh, to replace the artifact by a normal one. Or as the result of such combination, viruses could blend, which have got uh, mut mutation resistance uh, to this or that antiretroviral uh, medical drug. But in order to for this recombination to take place, it's very important for another virus to reach the cell. And we know that it HIV has got a mechanism which precludes repeated infection, secondary infection. But first of all, maybe this mechanism is needed, but at the very initial stage when the virus gets into the cell, it should use to the utmost the cell's potential. Maybe in the first stages of HIV, they remove uh, uh, some of the re receptors uh, and other viruses don't get the into the cell. But they can produce more or less proteins that way. So maybe the process of development of infection at the level of a cell or an organism, this uh, mechanism is uh, less used. Secondly, a uh, virus has good alternative uh, ability uh, for one cell to col uh, contain different uh, uh, genetic variants of RNA molecules. It's common knowledge that CCR5 trophy viruses uh, uh, do not uh, develop in cities. Such viruses are observed at the initial stage of the development of infectious process. But in, even in this case, uh, in our picture, we can see uh, the uh, uh, multiplication uh, of the virus with the clicks and with 45th trophy T. And we can see of HIV-1 and we can see blended cells. We observe them when the infection is advanced, the virus changed R5 uh, trophy T for R4. Uh, so uh, cells are blending and virions uh, uh, 
emerge and they contain molecules of different genetic variants of the virus. There could be uh, the same genetic variants, but the DNA molecules have got different uh, genetic information. That way, a virus having this mechanism at its disposal. And I forgot to mention that last year an article was published which shows that this mechanism of recombination is necessary for normal functioning of the virus. It's not just the mechanism of some uh, salvage, so to put it, or rescue, but it uh, complies for actually it enhances the uh, recombinant, uh, recombination competent viruses. We don't know all the information yet. Having such a potent toolkit or such a mechanism with the ability to do recombinations between viral subtypes, uh, a virus can digress from immune response. Uh, genetic diversity of the virus increases. It's more difficult to diagnose such a virus. And also such recombinant events can change viral fitness, um, plus or minus, give or take. And most important thing is that the ability to use combinations of mechanisms on the one hand enhances mutational processes which can bring the virus uh, to the dead end because the virus becomes defected uh, and uh, an incomplete recombination could update this virus, rejuvenate it. So to put recombination mechanism for HIV was discovered in 1995 and since the outset of 2000. Uh, there were scientific publications uh, describing for circulating recombinant forms and then a different unique recombinant forms. It's quite natural that nowadays uh, uh, the complexity of genomes uh, has increased uh, drastically. First of all, we've got more capacity and ability to sequence. And secondly, uh, viruses are recombined. Uh, there is a plethora and diversity of those viruses. And now, 99 circulating recombinant forms have been described. And moreover, we have been observing uh, the evolving recombinant forms to replace or to phase out clear progenitor viral virula. Uh, we can see it in Southeast Asia very clearly. As regards our country, I'll mention it shortly as well. I think it's common knowledge that HIV infection first was related to subtype 1, then subtype 2 was imported by the population of drug addicts and uh, also, recombinant virus go to our country, 03AB, but it was not prevalent enough. And then when there were the changes in the drug flows uh, and uh, there is the influx of drugs of e Asian 02A gyrocirculating variant, it recombined, was recombined with Russian A subtyped. As a result, that was the circulating recombinant form 63201. And actually, that virus appeared at outset of 2000. It drastically reversed the situation in Siberian region, but not only out there. Last year, I told you in great detail the way it happened. Now I'll try to be very brief about the same thing. Novosibirsk region is the first area whereby we pinpointed this virus uh, as far back as 2000. And A, there was a two-digit growth of this, uh, I the incidence of this disease as in other territories of our country. In Novosibirsk, it was the predominance of A type since 2009 and 10. And until now, we see this picture gradually. In 2006, we started pinpointing first cases, and in 2010, over four or five years, actually, concurrently with activation of the growth of propagation of HIV infection, there was the replacement of predominant viral uh, variant. Uh, same situation we observed in Altai region, in Tomsk region, and in Kemerov region. 
but neither Novosibirsk nor Altai were observed such a big number of repeated recombinant viruses. Blue sector shows unique recombinant forms, virula, which mostly uh, come along when there is uh, a repeated uh, infection of septicillin type uh, 2 uh, viral. In Tomsk, there was very high percent of recombinants because uh, there was uh, an outbreak of HIV uh, with the the growth between 6 to 14 percent in the morbidity, morbidity, and there was repeated infection. As to camera region, we can explain it in a rather straightforward way. Recombinant virus was imported under high prevalence of this disease of A subtype HIV among the population, so it was a repeated infection, and each uh, fifth specimen we studied was a recombinant uh, virus. And further on here, is our new update, uh, new data, uh, because actually we finalized total analysis last year, and this is the analysis of virula uh, first uh, diagnosed uh, in uh, residents of Krasnoyarsk region. It should be mentioned that all the data in question is uh, our work with the patients uh, who were diagnosed for the first time. We try to outreach uh, people who were naive in this diagnosis, uh, and we can at least identify the envisaged tentative period of infection to know the actual strains uh, uh, nowadays, so that we can make assumptions which will happen way out into the near future. And in Krasnoyarsk, the situation is different, or rather, we hope that we're going to see entirely different picture. And really, there is a difference in those regions. 66% is the uh, A type viral uh, circulation recombinant viruses were identified totally in 28% uh, percent of cases, which is mostly surprising. Uh, the explanation of the fact that we identify this great amount of recombinant vir virula, it's very difficult to find explanation at the first glance and mindful of uh, all those data uh, we uh, identified, and when we split them in years, we get uh, utterly inexplicable situation. People uh, actually uh, diagnosed uh, between 15, uh, 2015 and 2017, and 42 percent of cases were infected by recombinant virulae. And, uh, we have got epidemiological data from the patients engaged in the uh, studies uh, and clinical trials, and we know the characteristics of those patients which are in correlation with the characteristics of those people who are engaged in uh, involved in the process. There is heterosexual infection, and there are drug addicts infected. Uh, we can see here that a uh, 63rd recombinant form uh, is disseminated at a very low level here vis-a-vis -vis adjacent regions. Epidemiological analysis shows that the prevalence of this virus among drug addicts uh, we identified it beginning only from 2015 on altogether. There were several cases uh, of infections of this virus as far back as uh, 2010. So it's quite recently it came along to this territory. Most part of unique recombinant forms was represented by virulem, which were obtained as the recombination of virus uh, 63 and A subtype. And we didn't find neither pair of adjacent viruses. All those viral there came along as the result of standalone recombinant uh, events and recombinant virus AB, which we detected. There were seven people infected. This, those viral were different from the ones described previously in NR3 AB, and six out of seven viral had a structure, identical genome structure. For those viral, uh, 
we deciphered about 3,000 nuclear tears. That's the length, uh, length of the fragment. I don't remember the genome. Here is the representation of recombinant virula. You can see it in this generalized slide, and you can see genetic analysis, which is indicative of the fact that the recombinant virulae A and B are united in one standalone uh, common cluster, which uh, could make it possible to suspect the dissemination of new circulating recombinant form here. Another area whereby we conducted similar studies is Omsk region. Omsk, in Omsk region, we didn't observe such active outburst as in Tomsk and Omsk region since long way back used to be quite benign area from the standpoint of HIV infection uh, dissemination. What we saw there was amazing. In Omsk region, we can see that by the same token, there was a substitution by predominant variant, most often it's 63rd recombinant form shown here, uh, but unique virulae by the same token were identified in each fifth uh, recently infected residents of Omsk region. The analysis of uh, identification, uh, uh, separate gene uh, uh, variants or viruses among different categories shows that recombinant form 63 is more transmitted uh, by a sexual intercourse Asian type, mostly is identified in women infected through sexual intercourse. And there could be uh, unique forms shown equally in both groups uh, of uh, uh, risk behavior. And subtype A, it's mostly for women infected through sexual intercourse. As to phylogenetic tree, it is more clear why in the Omsk region we identify so many unique recombinant viruses. And we have to ask a question Are these viruses really unique? Look, here, this ORF formed two separate branches. One of them is represented by the virus that is mainly the genome of which, well, not exactly the genome, around 3 or 3.5 thousand uh, uh, nucleotides have been uh, decoded. So this is recombinant virus 63 and a small excerpt of uh, subtype A virus and another branch. But here we have a reverse picture. This small insert, maybe uh, nothing special, maybe a different virus, or maybe not. Do you see a comparative analysis of uh, the genome of the 63-year circulating recombinant form virus and its uh, progenitor? Uh, O2G uh, centralization virus. The main part of the genome of the uh, virus uh, 63 is practically identical to the centralization one and with small inserts of uh, HIV subtype A. You see the uh, whole genome tree, a different clusterization, and uh, it's a different virus. It was always interesting for us to understand whether the accidental or non-accidental events lead to this quick uh, dissemination of the virus. Finally, we uh, finished one study for the recombinant form 63. Uh, there was a consensus uh, for integrals uh, out of our sample of patients. We found that for those people for whom the virus was maximally identical to the consensus sequence, we cloned it and ended up with a producent of the integrals protein. And the comparison of integrals of uh, recombinant uh, form 63 and the virus uh, subtype A uh, showed that these integrals differ greatly in terms of their features. 
integrals of uh, virus 63 is more quick and more effective uh, in terms of uh, uh, catalyzing the processing and uh, uh, strand transfer processes. And it has only 63 uh, acid elements, nucleic acids. What I showed last year, or detection the patients in the acute phase of HIV infection that is carried out by the doctors from the first infectious uh, hospital to which uh, patients are delivered in severe condition uh, with fever, with various infections, and they try to detect those who have HIV among these uh, patients. As of now, our sample achieved 300, achieves 300 patients. Unfortunately, up to now, we have a prevalent uh, recombinant form of uh, virus 63, and we collect a very detailed uh, medical history of manifestations of the acute form of the disease. For those who are infected with recombinant virus, the great uh, decrease of CD4 cells is uh, characteristic. For them also higher viral loads are characteristic compared to those infected with other variants of the virus, for example, subtype A. Also, for those who are infected with this virus, as a rule, they have longer fever, and this fever is more pronounced. And it's also strange that almost in 50% of cases, exanthem, exanthema that is characteristic for the initial stage of HIV infection is not present. And the most frightening slide out of the patients administered to our first infectious hospital with acute HIV infection diagnosis, around 30% have no clinical manifestations that might have indicated the uh, HIV infection. Working with other medical institutions of uh, Novos the city of Novosibirsk showed that there are cases when patients uh, are administered to the hospital with uh, negative immunoblot and uh, uh, positive or dubious uh, uh, immune enzyme assay. Uh, also include patients with acute HIV infection. For those who had dubious uh, uh, IEA, uh, P24 tests were carried out and RNA HIV and viral load. Out of those who were administered to the uh, hospital with uh, uh, sexually transmitted diseases, uh, uh, diseases out of 33, 18 were detected with acute HIV. These are intermediary conclusions that state that in Novosibirsk region, as a minimum, cases of acute HIV infection prevail that are caused by the prevalence of recombinant uh, uh, form 6301. Clinical manifestations of acute HIV infection very often are not typical. Hence, detecting of such cases is possible only if we examine uh, the whole population for HIV. At least those who are administered to hospitals and polyclinics clinics in acute conditions. For such patients, uh, therapy is highly efficient and timely uh, prescription of therapy may resolve many problems. These uh, are our recent data in terms of studying the characteristics of this uh, recent uh, uh, virus, uh, recombinant virus 63. On the whole, identifying of this virus, its observation shows us that it is in compliance with the evolutionary concept of uh, survival for those uh, mostly fit. This virus uh, has uh, 
actually a probation, uh, quite a long probation period for itself and uh, is expanding its uh, uh, habitat and the trend goes on. And moreover, we see that this virus is uh, used, uh, is using its full potential. Maybe not this virus exactly, but recombinant uh, uh, O2G virus, for which an increased uh, uh, predisposition to recombinant viruses is uh, characteristic. But it is definitely that in our country, at least in Siberia, for sure, the recombinant viruses play a very significant role in terms of uh, the growth of the epidemics. We also carried out smaller studies with the samples collected from the population of Krasnodar region. And the picture there is quite stable on the one hand. Subtype A remains uh, domineering, the same as before, but we see some uh, local variants from Siberia, the ones brought from the Central Asia, and also the formation of unique recombinant forms. It is impossible to forecast what will happen next. We see the same Krasnoyarsk or Omsk. The situation is absolutely different. But nevertheless, the virus becomes more heterogeneous due to the formation of unique recombinant forms and due to the cases uh, brought in from elsewhere. For example, uh, subtype G, which is uncharacteristic for Krasnodar uh, region, is now present there. And a similar situation may be seen among the population of Khabarovsk region. This is not our sample. We receive these samples from the people who are already uh, linked to therapy. This uh, recent cases of HIV infection, people who were infected around five years ago. And here, uh, HIV subtype A is domineering, but we see that uh, the uh, strange viruses have been brought mainly from uh, Asia Pacific region. Subtype G. Once again, it was strange for me to hear that this virus was detected in the population of drug users because we connect this uh, virus with the MSM group. In the Central Asia, this virus is detected in this group of uh, men. Thank you for your attention. After uh, your presentation, I wanted uh, to say that uh, uh, your problems are practically nothing compared to us. You see, in Russia, we have uh, uh, different genetic variants of viruses in circulation, and these viruses become recombinant, and the population of our viruses becomes more and more heterogeneous, hence our problems. Thank you. And thank you, Natalia. Uh, the epidemiological surveillance uh, is uh, maybe uh, not as strict, and that's why the virus is disseminated quicker. Any questions to Natalia from the floor? In fact, the situation is really unique. When recombinant forms become domineering in uh, some regions, most probably they are transmitted actively uh, by sexual route and uh, among the drug users by injection route because uh, camera of a region. I do not know the situation in Irkutsk region, but these are the regions where IDU's domineer. No, this is not confirmed. I'm speaking about the Kemerova region, Kemerova and Irkutsk regions. Uh, IDU's prevailed there. Unfortunately, transmission uh, goes on 
parentally with drugs.